What's good, guys? Today, um, we're doing something a little different. We're doing a re-glue on a pair of Air Jordan 23s. We know this shoe is 16 years old. So, of course, with shoes that old, normally they require um, a re-glue, touch-up, all those things. Because with age comes damage, wear, tear, all those things. So, let's get into it. Into the paranormal. So with this being a 16 year old pair of shoes, um, these Jordan 23s didn't need no acetone or anything to get these soles off. So we're just going to pull them off before we get started. All right, so we did the right shoe and let's do the same with the left. All right, so now to prep the shoes up for the re-glue, um, we do want to remove the residue off of these soles. So I'm um, going to use our acetone and some cotton balls to take care of that. Alright, and when dealing with acetone, you want to make sure that you have some type of rubber gloves on. Um, you know, as you can see, I have like these gloves that's not really affected by the acetone at all. If you use like the regular like medical, um, I think it's like nitrile gloves, then you know the acetone will eventually eat through it. But with these gloves, I've used them plenty of times and haven't had no issues. So um, get some good solid gloves so that way you don't get too much of this stuff on your hands. All right, so we acetone all of the um, sole pieces. Now we're going to actually acetone the, um, you know, connecting sole that's actually on the shoe. Or I could have just said midsole, but you get the point. <laughs> now, most of the times when you do a re-glue, it's important to, you know, tape off the areas you don't want to get acetone on. But, um, you know, I was just being careful. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to get this completed. So I just went ahead and did it and, um, you know, just try to make sure I didn't have like too much acetone on my cotton balls to wear a drip onto the actual shoe.
and as you can see i had to grab a towel um because the acetone was starting to drip a little bit so i just want to make sure i you know kind of clean that up before we cause any problems at all so yeah that's why you saw me grab this rag and um you know kind of use it to help me with this uh prep All right, and just before I start working on putting down our um, glue, I wanna just make sure that all the pieces are seating properly on the shoe so we don't have any hiccups once we start actually gluing them together. Alright, in case you're wondering, this is the um, contact cement glue that I'll be using. Barge Super Stick. Um, I think there's a lot of different, um, you know, restorers that use this glue. So, I feel like it's the best, you know, in my own opinion. So, that's what we're rocking with. Alright, so now we're going to start putting the glue on the mid. So, Starting at the front of the shoe. And as you can see, I'm going over it multiple times just to try to make sure that this glue is smoothed out as much as possible. Um, when you get clumps, a lot of times that can cause issues with the gluing process. Either you get over glue or you also just don't get a good solid bond between the two surfaces.
Hey, just popping in as I always do in all of my videos. Just remind y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for helping me reach a thousand plus subscribers. Now all we have to do is get 4,000 watch hours and then we'll be monetized. So stick throughout this video. Ask any questions that you may have. Of course, we do the lives um, on Saturday. So watch the community tab, um, you know, watch the channel do everything so that way whenever i have lives you can pop in and ask any questions there as well so let's get back into it All right, so we let that sit for 10 minutes um, and now we're going to be heating up both sides so that way we can reactivate the glue and um, go ahead and start pressing it together. And um, just something I like to do is find, you know, a point that I would like to start at and then just kind of work my way around from there i normally work work with the toe first is you know easiest to me you find out what works best for you and just go with it um so as you can see i'm you know pressing everything together pushing all around the shoe and any parts that i see that may be a little um out of alignment i just heat that section up again and press it on All right, and now we're going to start working on the heel, doing the same process as we did with the front section of the shoe. Laying down the glue on both sides.
letting it sit for 10 minutes. And now we're going to um, heat heat them up again and uh, press them together. And you want to be careful. Um, I want to, you know, make sure I tell you guys this. You want to be careful with heating up um, this contact cement. If you heat it up too much, then you will, um, you know, basically damage the um, the glue, and it won't give you a good adhesion as well. So you want to um, just make sure that you get it to a good solid temperature to where they're both reactivated, but you don't want to overdo it to where you can't work with it. And as you can see, I have some spots that, you know, didn't really take well. So with my small brush, I just wanted to come in and, you know, readdress those small sites. Thank you guys for sticking throughout this video. Now we're going to get the motivational quote. A winner is just a loser who tried one more time. It's been your boy Gabba Paranormal. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.